In this video, we'll be looking at the calculation of fair value for interest rate swaps or IRS. Uh, this falls under module 5, interest rate risk management. Now let's just uh, go through this as an example. It's very straightforward. In this example, you are required to calculate the fair value of a pay fixed interest rate swap as of 30th June 2016. Pay fixed interest rate swap means that this swap uh, involves paying a fixed rate and receiving a floating rate. Now the deal was uh, struck on 30th June 2015 at a fair value of zero at inception and it will mature in three years time. National principal is $1 million, fixed rate is 6%, BBS, uh, floating rate is BBSW plus 1% and it has two years to go okay, until it expires. The payment frequency is annual, annually paid and the valuation date is 30th June 2016. So there is only two years to go until it matures. So you are given the risk fee rate for a one year cash flow and a two year cash flow. So a cash flow in one year, in one year's time, will be uh, valued at 5%. A cash flow in two years' time will be valued at 5.5% per annum. So given a 5% uh, in risk fee rate, the discount factor will be 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.05 to the power of 1 for 1 year. So that's 0 0.9524. What it means is that $1 one year from now is worth 0 0.9524 today. And for two, the 2 years cash flow, you, the discount factor is 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.055 to the power of 2, 2 for 2 years and we get 0 0.8985. Now this means that $1 in two years time is worth 0 0.8985 today. Okay, we'll be using this to calculate the present value of the cash flows. And uh, as well, you are given the forward rates for the next two years. So for the next year's cash flow, the applicable forward rate, okay, based uh, for the BBSW is, uh, is 6.5%. And for the cash flow in two years' time, the BBSW is estimated to be 7%. And margin, of course, is 1%. So when you, when you determine the floating rate for the next two years, it will be based on BBSW plus the margin, 1%. So if you take 6.5 plus 1, that's 7.5%. 7 plus 1, it will be 8%. Now let's see how the cash flows are calculated. Now, first off, uh, we will determine the fixed cash flow, which is based on 6% multiplied by 1 million. Mm -hmm. So that's $60,000. So we can uh, just, for example, I'll just plot the cash flow here. You can see 60000 for the next two years. Then for the floating cash flow, we will base it on the forward rate table that, we, uh, that, we, that I showed you in the previous slide. So we'll take 7.5% times 1 million, that's 75000 in the first year, next year, and then 8% times 1 million, that's 80,000 in the final year. Now, of course, uh, we can't just net off the cash flow directly. We will have to calculate the present value of the cash flows as it involves the time value of money. So to calculate the present value of the cash flows, we will use the discount factor and apply it to the respective cash flows okay, for both fixed and floating cash flow. So for the fixed cash flow, the PV will be 60,000 multiplied by 0 0.9524 plus the 60,000 in year 2 multiplied by 0 0.8985. So that's $111,054. And for the PV of the floating cash flow, we'll take 75,000 in the first year multiplied by 0 0.9524 plus 80,000 multiplied by 0 0.8985. So we get $143,310. Now the thing is, uh, we now need to net off these two. And how do we net it off? Should we take uh, 111000 minus 143000 or should it be the other way around? So an easy way to determine this is to know whether uh, what, you are, uh, what you are paying and what are you receiving. So this is a pay fixed interest rate swap. So if you are paying means it's a cash outflow. If you are receiving, it's a cash inflow. So since it's a pay fixed interest rate swap, so we are paying the fixed cash flow here, 60,000. 
Okay, and then we are and then we are receiving the cash flow based on the floating rate, which is seventy five and eighty. So pay would be a negative outflow, receive would be a positive inflow. So the fixed cash flow would be negative, the floating cash flow PV would be positive. So with that, we will take hundred and forty three thousand minus hundred and eleven thousand, so that comes up to about thirty two thousand dollars. This is the fair value of the pay fixed swap as of 30th June 2016 okay so it is a very straightforward calculation so the steps are number one calculate the cash flow step two calculate the PV of the cash flows and step three net it off now before we end this what's the fair value of this swap if it had been a receipt fix so a receipt fix swap would involve receiving cash flows based on the fixed rate and paying a cash flow based on floating rate so we will just have to swap we just have to exchange these two so we will receive fixed and pay float so we just have to put in a negative sign here so the fair value of a receive fixed swap is negative 32,256 okay so that ends the session okay on calculating the fair value of an interest rate swap